Hi everyone, so it is March favourites time. March? Yes, we're in March. Yes. So today I'm running you through all of my favourite beauty products from the past month and I've got a bit of a weird selection this month, I don't know, it just feels a bit weird to me because there was so much that I loved last month that I'm still loving this month so this selection feels slightly smaller um, but it doesn't make the products any less good, I just have been liking a lot of products but I don't want to talk about the same things over again. But I'm just going to get down to the products because otherwise I will sit here and talk about the fact that there are less products all day because I just get stuck on a rolling tangent. Let's do this. <laughs> so I'm going to get started with some drugstore products and the first one is the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Full Slash. This is one of my favourite mascaras ever. I used it for a really really long time back when I first started YouTube and I've just discovered it again recently and I've really been loving it. But I went to pick it up in Boots the other day and they didn't have any of the waterproof mascaras in at all so I'm slightly terrified that they're starting to discontinue all of their waterproof mascaras um, so someone please tell me if there are any kind of in Brighton or London any boot stores that stock it because I just feel like I am going to need to stock up on this because I don't trust L'Oreal after the original telescopic waterproof went. The next product I've been loving is by Maybelline it's one of their colour tattoo 24 hour things um, in the leather effect 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 range um, and this is just a really nice creamy beige colour that's literally the name of it it's just a beautiful kind of cream beigey colour and I just love this. I've got it partially on my eyes today but I also layered up about six million other eyeshadows on top of it so you can't really tell but I've been wearing this in a few videos so I will try and link one of those up below so you can go and see what it looks like but it's just a really lovely kind of brownie everyday kind of shadow and it's apparently very similar to Max Groundwork paint pot so if oh my god the dog's licking my hand go away it's apparently quite similar to Max Groundwork paint pot so if that is not in your budget then I would definitely recommend looking at this because it's lovely and it just is non creasy and lasts forever and now is the moment where I have to give a little retraction on something that I really didn't like originally but have been using like every single single day for the past month so um, L'Oreal Brow Artist I'm very sorry that I didn't like you originally but now I really really like it it just keeps my brows really kind of brushed up and into place the way I like it I find that with a lot of other gel kind of setting what are they called setting gels that's the one <laughs> with a lot of other setting gels I just tend to kind of keep them in place for about an hour or so and then they're kind of back to their usual wild business again and although this does feel a bit crispy it really does keep them in place it has the cutest little wand in the world and I've just been really liking it for keeping my brows stuck into place it's not so good for kind of plumping up the brows as the kind of name suggests the benefit give me brow is actually much better for kind of beefing up your brows and making it look like you have a lot more hairs than you actually do I wouldn't say that that is this one's specialist quality. It definitely helps to keep my brows set in place so I've been loving it a lot this month because they are just crazy at the moment. <laughs> Next up we have an affordable skincare product that I picked up when I was in Paris but I'm pretty sure you can get it in certain places in the UK as well. It's the Bioderma Hydro, Hydro Bio Riche um, Rich Cream Moisturiser. It's a really lovely kind of day moisturiser, very similar to the Kiehl's Skin Rescue in its kind of moisturising properties I kind of find that they do a very similar job. I've been using this as part of my kind of morning skincare routine and it just helps to keep my skin hydrated all day and it doesn't break me out, it doesn't freak my skin out at all, it's very gentle so I've really been liking this and I would definitely recommend looking into this if you are not one that likes to spend a ridiculous amount of money on your moisturisers. Next up is a product that I was really not too keen on at first. When I first tried it I was just so not into it, it didn't really do anything for my hair and I found a few other people that kind of felt the same but the Colab Dry Shampoo, I'm holding it the wrong way around. <laughs> this dry shampoo is slightly different to the kind of normal drugstore ones that I'm used to using, which are very thick and powdery, and you can you can kind of clearly see the whiteness, but they do a very good job of soaking up um, like grease and just the yuck in your hair really, really quickly. This isn't like that at all, which is why I really struggled with it for so long at first when I started using it, because it's not kind of one of those works instantly kind of dry shampoos. I find that I have to use this the night before. I have to use quite a bit but I think that's just because I leave my hair to get so greasy before I use dry shampoo because I literally go kind of four or five days without washing my hair which sounds disgusting but it's just a kind of dry texture that 
can take that but then it will just suddenly get so so greasy and it's kind of gross. I've been loving this because if I apply this before I go to bed on kind of almost greasy hair the next day I wake up and I can brush it through and it's like my hair has actually been washed, it smells nice and it's just it's really interesting it doesn't feel like I've got anything in it. I kind of put a little bit in my fringe today because my baby hair sticks up in really weird places otherwise but you can't feel that it's there at all like with my Batiste dry shampoos I use those quite a lot and you can't even run your hand through your hair because it's just so disgusting and thick and powdery but this you just can't feel it's there and I just really like it. It's not one of those ones that I would use if I'm in a rush like I suddenly need to go out and look semi presentable and not like I have a head full of greasy hair I would definitely use that <laughs> what was that? I would definitely use the Batiste ones for that but if you've got time and you kind of can foresee the fact that you don't want to wash your hair the next day or that evening and you just use this instead then this is brilliant and I just really like the fact that it does kind of give a whole extra day of clean feeling hair rather than dry shampoo feeling hair. Next up I'm going to be talking about some kind of affordable makeup brushes. These are from Zoeva. We all know that I love Zoeva brushes and these are their bamboo kind of stick brushes. These are beautiful. I really, really have enjoyed using these. They have a few different kind of shapes to what the normal sets come with. So there's one that's kind of for um, contouring and then you've got a cheek um, cream product brush, which usually you just get a normal blusher. This is specifically for cream products, which I've really been liking. There's another product in this video that I've been using that with, and I really like it, it's amazing. And then we have a highlighter brush, which I've really been liking as well, that is beautiful. There's a concealer brush, there's a few blending brushes, and then there's a foundation brush as well, which looks really dense, but it's actually not, and I like that a lot for kind of using on lightweight bases. It just gives a really kind of flawless look. Next I'm moving on to a few high-end bits and pieces, the first one of which I was going to put in my last month's favourite but I've literally only just got it and I was loving it then but I thought I'd kind of wait and see if I was still using it a month later and then include it in the next favourites and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Block Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette and I just think that this is beautiful. I actually am not so keen on the highlighter, I much prefer the bronzing kind of contoury powder in this but it is just gorgeous. The bronzer is my perfect shade for making me look like I have a subtle tan, I just think that it is gorgeous. The highlight is beautiful as well but it is quite in your face and for me it looks quite obvious that I'm wearing highlighter which is quite interesting because lots of people say that it's really subtle um, so we can all beg to differ on that but the bronzing shade is just beautiful, very subtle, not too orange, not too cool toned, it's really really beautiful and I've been loving this and extra points for packaging because rose gold is just obviously my favourite thing and this is just stunning. And I'm going to follow it up with another item from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been loving this month and I'm sure I will love for a very long time. This one is a bit of a tease because it is not out until July so I feel really bad for showing this but I have been loving this and I couldn't not include it and you guys can just keep an eye out for this come July which just feels like so far away I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is The Colour of Youth by Charlotte Tilbury, it's part of her Norman Parkinson collaboration for the summer which has a really beautiful little kind of photo on the front and the usual rose gold packaging on the sides and then inside is just the most stunning pink peachy summery pink shade in the world. I am just obsessed with this. I've got it on my cheeks today and it's what I had on my cheeks in my what's in my bag video as well. Um, for those of you who are asking, I've just been wearing this all the time recently. It's beautiful and it looks really lovely on the lips as well. It's just a stunning cream product. But for those of you who can't wait until July or this is like completely out of your price range, the Topshop Cream Blush in Head Over Heels it's very very similar to this, slightly less dewy on the skin but still very very similar so I would definitely recommend going and picking that up if this is completely out of budget or you just can't wait until July because I would be so with you on not being able to wait until July so yeah that is a very similar dupe to it um, I will see if I can do some some swatching for you guys so you can see the comparison, they're very very similar but yeah I've been loving a lot from this collection but this has just been the standout must have for me, I just think that it is gorgeous. And then finally we have a lipstick that I've been loving. This is one of the new reformulated Chanel Rouge Cocos in the shade Jean, which is a gorgeous kind of dark 
pinky purpley colour. I was wearing it in one of my vlogs and loads of you said how much you liked it and I've really been liking it this month as well. It's really beautiful if you kind of just smudge it into the lips a little bit and use it as more of a stain but it also looks amazing if you just apply it kind of full on. It's just gorgeous and I really like the new formula for these. They are very kind of kind of a bit glossy but moisturising but not too glossy to the point where they just slip right off and if you apply them more as a stain and kind of blend them in then they have a lot longer lasting power. There must have been a better way to have said that. But yeah, so I've been loving that this month. I'm going to do a little post on a few of my favourites from the range so that you guys can see a few of the shades that I have because they are just all kinds of beautiful. I just love that. Look at that. And that is it for my March favourites. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys on Tuesday for a new vlog. Bye!